What's up, Sauce Nation? It is your boy Hector Flores. And the Houston Dynamo have made a, a v- very interesting signing. And it's it's an interesting signing because I didn't see this coming from the Houston Dynamo. And we'll get into it a little bit about Sebastian Ferreira and what should we expect from Sebastian Ferreira. But before we get going with that, man, make sure you guys, one, like this video, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop videos just like this or when we do our live streams. So you guys want to be on the know because there's there's things happening in soft sports, man. And I'm trying, I'm telling you, you can't be missing this stuff, man. It's gonna be big. Also, make sure you guys follow us on social media platforms and on Instagram and Twitter at Sauce Sports HCX and of course Facebook, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned because things are happening. Like I said you don't want to miss out. Um, and if you guys want a little bit more extra, well, you can join the Discord by joining the Patreon. If you sign up with the Patreon, put you in the Discord. You can chat with us, Honcho. We, we usually are live during the games, so make sure you guys go ahead and check out that as well. But without further ado, let's get going with this video. All right, so by the time this video drops, it should be official. So because we're not gonna we're not gonna drop this video until it's official. But the Houston Dynamo have gotten Sebastian Ferreira. He is a forward out of Libertad, which is in the first division in Paraguay. He is Paraguayan, and he's 23 years old. The things that I like already from him is that he has been scoring goals with his team. So he is he's not one of those young players that we don't know if he's going to be good or not. He's a proven player. Like he's done it not only in Paraguay, but he's also done it in Mexico as he's played in Liga MX with Monarcas. So he is a proven player and I, that's what I like to see, especially at the number 9 spot. I think this is the number 9 that the Dynamo has been looking for for quite some time. We thought it was going to be Christian Ramirez, but, you know, obviously Tab Ramos had other plans and we never got to see Christian Ramirez. Now he's killing it over in Aberdeen. But I like this move. And the thing that I like this even more is the Dynamo paid off $6.5 million. At least that's what the rumor amount is. $6.5 million to bring Sebastian Ferreira to the Houston Dynamo. And this is also the fact that the Dynamo are competing with some teams in Brazil that also want this guy. So there's other teams, you know, especially in Brazil. That's some big team, uh, some interesting teams that are interested in this player. So that's what I like to see. Um, in 2021, he scored 14 goals, got two assists, had five yellow cards and one red card. Um, he's going to be aggressive. He's going to be in front. And that's what I saw in his films. He's just going to stay in front. He's going to do, he's not going to miss out on a rebound. This is kind of the kind of forward that you want. This is a pure number nine, a poacher. He, he can be a poacher. He can create his own goals. This guy really does it all. He is a complete total number nine, and I think this is what the Dynamo needs. Now, the fact that he is 23, I think the benefit about that as well, and and I mean, I hope that he stays with the Dynamo, but in the situation that, you know, maybe a team in Europe, not necessarily has to be a big team, but maybe maybe like a mid-table team is interested in Sebastian Ferreira, well, and they're willing to pay a good amount. Hopefully, Pat Onstan and, and Ted Siegel are different from the original ownership group and Matt Jordan. And they would actually take full advantage and getting a big transfer uh, offer from a club. I mean, we saw FC Dallas, what happened with Pepe. You know, maybe, they, you know, Sebastian Ferreira can also offer that as well. But like I said, I don't hope that that happens because I would love that Sebastian Ferreira kills it here for the Houston Dynamo and becomes a Dynamo legend. But in the event, if a team's willing to pay, you know, up to $20 million for this for this guy, that's just only going to benefit the Dynamo. So... If, if it pans out, I think this could be a, a, a real benefit to Houston Dynamo. Not only him as a player, but maybe in the future as well. So, I like this move. I think it's a... it's If this is the move that the Dynamo... If this is the guy that the Dynamo end up getting, I think that this answers a lot of problems, especially up front. Um, there's still some things that the Dynamo need to address, though, before we say that, the, 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 that we don't have to worry about a rebuild. But this is definitely a good first step. Yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm super excited about Sebastian Ferreira. I mean, that's not not not, not shocking. I like this move, and so I hope that this just it's just a this is going to be a constant what we're going to see from the Houston Dynamo for the future. That Ted Siegel isn't afraid to pay uh, pay up to get guys that that to help improve this team. That Pat Onstan is a very savvy general manager, and he's going to do what's right for the team. And, and you know, big question mark is going to be Paul Nagamore. What are we going to see from him? But all in all, man, if they keep making moves like this, and and if I'm assuming that they're gonna use that four three three formation, um, I think that this there, there's some there's some promise. There's some there's gonna be a light at the end of this tunnel for the Houston Dynamo. So there's something to be excited about. But tell me what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys excited about Sebastian Ferreira? Do you think that this is the answer 
for the Houston Dynamo, or maybe not. Maybe he's going to help us out big time in the future with a big payday, or do you think this is our guy? This is our number nine. Tell me in the comments. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, click on that notification bell. If you want to join the Discord, make sure you guys end up signing up through Patreon. Um, obviously, follow us on social media, you know, Instagram, Twitter, at, at SawSportsHTX, and on Facebook. And since this is a soccer video, I'm going to go, as, go ahead and shamelessly plug Insert Name FC. That is my podcast. That's, you know, where I talk about overall all soccer. Do I touch up on Dynamo from time to time? But honestly, I'm more focused on Europe than anything else. So we will touch up on MLS and League MX, but mainly it's it's Europe. But if you guys like how I talk about soccer, maybe you guys want to check that out as well. We're part of the Belly of Sports Network. Um, it's been pretty fun. And honestly, if it wasn't for Soft Sports, I don't think Insert Name FC would have even existed. So thank you, Hancho, for that. With all that being said, man, chucking up a deuce. Y'all stay saucy. Perfect.